In this video, I'm going to find a function of phi such that grad phi is equals to 2xy plus 6y squared x squared i plus x squared plus 4y x cubed j. So what we are given there, we are given a grad phi and uh, we are having uh, two variables there, x and y. So we know that uh, our grad phi will be the grad phi which has two components i and j. So by definition, we have that our grad phi there is partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus partial derivative of phi with respect to y and j. So we have uh, those uh, two grad phi. The first one, I will label it equation number one. The second one, I will label it equation number two. So we then go on and compare equation one and two. On the left hand side, we are having grad phi there. But if you look at this part here, the component of the i, and here, the component of the i, by comparing those two components of the i, we see that our partial derivative of phi with respect to x is equals to 2xy plus 6y squared x squared. And then we go on and compare the components of the j, this one here, then the component of the j here, we see that partial derivative of phi with respect to y is equals to x squared plus 4y x cubed. So we now have uh, those uh, two new equations. So I'll go on and integrate the first equation there with respect to x. Both on the left hand side we are having a partial derivative with respect to x. If we integrate with respect to x, what we'll get is a phi there. So the result that we'll get there is phi of xy is equal to x squared multiplied by y plus 2y squared x cubed plus g1 of y. We are saying g1 of y where that g1 is a function of y only. That's our constant of integration, just because we're having a partial derivative. Then I go on and integrate the second equation with respect to y. So that we get our phi of xy is equal to x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed plus g2 of x. The g2 of x is the constant of integration and we are saying is a function of x only. Our constant of integration is in terms of a function of x because it was a partial derivative with respect to y. So I will now go on and label my equations. And that one, I will label it equation number three, and then the other one, equation number four. And then go on and compare equation three and four. So for equation three and four, we are saying that on the left hand side, we are just having phi of xy. But on the right hand side, we are having this part here is equals to this part here and we'll only be left with those g of y and the g of x. So the equations 3 and 4, we are saying they are equal if we are looking at the left hand side. So we def the g1 of y is equal to g2 of x. But we are saying g of y is a function of y only. g of x is a function of x only. And uh, they can only be equal if they are a constant. So we'll be saying that they are a constant. C. So substitute uh, that value of the g1 into equation 3. And then we have phi of xy is equal to x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed plus c. So this is uh, the function phi that we were looking for.